the reason why we came about with the idea of this leadership camp uh, is, I think, firstly, to um, get student leaders, irrespective of the sector or sections they represent on campus, but student leaders to come together from different institutions, one per institution. Uh, you know, and I'm sure you thought that that was a bit strange, uh, that we asked for one per institution. So it's people you are going to be meeting for the first time. But some of you may know each other, maybe because you serve in the leadership structures of the uh, union or uh, Saveta, the association, uh, or uh, in whatever way. But the idea was that most of you would obviously meet each other for the first time from different experiences, different backgrounds, different institutions, uh, but also different attitudes and views and uh, you know, political perspectives, uh, perspectives around the state of our country, the state of our education system, your own institutions, to exchange those views and to uh, you know, uh, really also think about how do we um, uh, enhance uh, what works, but also how do we, uh, you know, improve that uh, which works, and how do we resolve some of the problems? Um, you know, any education in a, a system that is not centered around the needs, interests, and aspirations of the students in the first place is bound to fail, because you have to be the active participants of that in, uh, uh, education system, and therefore your views around how it needs to be taken forward should matter. So that's the second most important element, to hear from you in a less constrained environment, um, you know, not in your campuses, which are your comfort zones, not with your peers, but with strangers, people whom you will not be scared to raise what your uh, views are. Uh, you know, because in any way, uh, you do not have to stand in front of any of these people next year when you campaign uh, to be re elected into the SRC again. Secondly, or thirdly actually, uh, it's convened around the state of the nation address by the president. So we also want to give you an opportunity to reflect on that, uh, to tell us what your views are. Uh, the president spoke about 18 Swalo. Are you 18 Swalo? Are you not? Do you agree that there is actually 18 Swalo who Government's programs and interventions have been centered around ensuring that that individual thrives irrespective of the hurdles that have been put in front of them even before they were born. Do you agree with that? Do you not agree with that? Uh, do you resonate with that person? Do you not? Uh, you know, or do you think the president is dreaming up this person uh, whom uh, uh, you know, government has worked with to uh, put to where they are, but also what is the state of the nation? Um, you know, is it just about uh, us as members of parliament dressing up and going to listen to the president? Or is it something that really matters uh, to yourselves uh, as uh, young people? Probably some of you are, uh, what, 18, 17, up to 25, maybe even 30. Does it matter to you that we should have a state of the nation address? Does it matter, uh, you know, to uh, the country? Has the previous state of the nations, if you cared to listen to them, uh, had any impact on, uh, you know, the, the country itself? Uh, I will be here when we have most of these discussions, but my presence shouldn't mean anything, uh, which is what we established with uh, the first group, that yes, uh, you know, inevitably, I am the deputy minister, but when I'm here, I'm also here to learn from you. Uh, you know, so when we reflect even on those uh, issues uh, around government, we'd really want you to be free. If you think that there are uh, challenges, yes, express them. But also if you think that there are areas where, uh, you know, government has done its bit, uh, you know, to take forward the development of the country, express them. What are the things that you would do if you were to become a leader uh, uh, you know, at that level, because you are leaders now. Uh, I don't agree with this notion that young people are leaders of the future. You are leaders now. You occupy position. Your decisions, small or big as you may think they are, 
have an effect. So if you were to occupy these positions, what is it that you would do differently uh, from what is being done? What is it that you will enhance? So some reflections, I think, on the state of the nation is going to be uh, crucial. So I'd invite your views, uh, you know, in, uh, uh, with regards to that. Then the fourth thing is, and I think you'll see from the type of people that we've invited to come and speak with you, um, is that we want you to, th to, to, to think about leadership uh, differently, okay? Leadership beyond the office that you occupy, leadership uh, beyond what is prescribed in the constitution of the SRC or the statute of the university, uh, uh, you know, of the college, uh, but leadership, uh, 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 you know, that's not necessarily in a, I mean, a building into uh, what has been done before, but leadership that thinks innovatively about how we resolve or could resolve problems. When I was uh, in the SRC about 21, 22, maybe 25 years ago. <laughs> um, so almost all the time, our first solution was we're taking students out, we're going to protest, OK? And, and sometimes that brought results, uh, you know, but it had its own uh, uh, negative uh, implications, uh, you know, we, got addicted to the drug of protest because we believed it yields the results. And we stopped exploring any other alternatives towards resolving problems, you see? Um, and is that still the case? Are we in a position to think differently about our approach to leadership? Are we in a position to think differently about our approach to resolving problems? Are we seeing ourselves only as recipients of the system, or are we seeing ourselves as its integral part and who should be making an impact? So let's remove those barriers around how we think around issues of leadership as we listen to some of the people who will be coming here to speak to us on the different concepts of uh, leadership. Finally, finally, so there's no university student, there's no TVET college or community college students. All of us who are here are students in a single nationally coordinated higher education system. We are all uh, South Africans. Uh, we are all uh, Africans. We are all human beings. There's no divide uh, that we should even think about. Because once we see a person as being different, then we start uh, looking at other things that would differ from them and we sometimes even create unnecessary conflict. So we're all here equal as uh, the uh, participants or attendants of the second uh, Mandela uh, Sobukwe leadership camp. So with those, uh, I hope to are going to be very few words. Um, I uh, want to thank you and hope that you have fun throughout the whole week until we leave. Thank you very much.